Carl Gebhardt is a professor at the University of Texas uh, Astronomy Department. He joins us now live from Austin, Texas. Welcome to the program. How excited are you about this discovery? Oh, this is fantastic. So this is the stuff I love. Uh, I've been working in astronomy for a long time now and trying to find signs of life around another planet is, is just one of the most important endeavors that we can do as a community. And this find itself is extremely exciting. Okay, so why is it so exciting? Tell us why it's like Earth and, and how could they have worked this out? It's so far away. Okay, it's gonna be hard to get there. We're not gonna have that happen anytime soon. So what we're trying to do now is to get a census of the planets out there that can sustain life. That's, uh, that's one of the, the, of the fundamental problems we're trying to answer here. So, so, so this planet, uh, 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 so we've been looking at large samples of planets for a long time and we're up to about a thousand planets out there around other stars. And most of the planets that we have found so far are, are, are quite large. And they're, they're a lot of the gas uh, giant planets. So we haven't found a lot of the rocky planets. We found a few planets that, that we believe are much like the Earth in terms of the chemical composition, in terms of, the, in terms of being rocky. But what is so essential about here is this planet is in the zone where, where water is in a liquid state. And that is one of the keys here, as far as we can tell, to be able to find life, is you gotta find a planet that's in what we call the habitable zone, where water can exist in a liquid state. We believe, after all, that that's, that was the essence of life on our planet, and so our assumption is you want, to, you want to do this on other planets as well. And this is the best one, it's about the size of the Earth, and it has, we believe it's, 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 it's able to have water in a liquid state. Okay. Thank you so much, Carl. Uh, Carl Gebhardt is a professor at the University of Texas Astronomy Department. Thanks for your thoughts.